Hello, <laughs> welcome to my humble abode. Come on, let me show you around. welcome back you may or you may not know i built this closet slash beauty room slash dress room whatever you want to call it i built it a couple months ago i posted it here on youtube i'm going to post the link down below if you want to see it and i've been wanting to do the closet review for a while now but i had to make a couple changes and yeah so i'm ready to show you now let's get into this video so a little bit of a backstory i moved here about I would say like six, four months ago or February, just say I moved in in February and I needed more space and I really wanted a space where I can actually have a room to myself for my accessories and my bag and my shoes and my clothing in general because I'm a out of sight, out of mind kind of person and when I was in my former apartment I was always looking for what to wear and it was such a hassle for me to find clothes and shoes and, and bags so i really needed a space that i can build like a walk-in closet like a dressing room and also see all my things like on display out from the fact that it's more convenient i wanted to feel like i was you know i was in a shopping mall and getting dressed that's my favorite thing to do so i really wanted to build this so in my former apartment i had a really nice closet actually i'm going to show you a clip of it right here so i got everything here from ikea i got the wardrobe frame separately so this wall is 11 feet wide and 9 feet tall if you watch the video i created you know that i did four but i this was my latest addition because i needed it to be five because there was a space here that was kind of bothering me and honestly i needed like the extra space and i need to see everything i have so that I can wear them. If I don't see them, I forget about them and I just don't wear them. So it was very important for me to have a display like this. Um, this was a little bit above my budget, to be honest, but it was still like within the budget I like had in mind. I didn't want something expensive. First of all, I live in an apartment, guys. This thing is going to live with me when I'm leaving this, leaving this apartment. So I'm going to worry about that later. <laughs> But yeah, um, I needed something that was, you know, like reasonably priced. In this whole space, I have my belts, my all my accessories, my jewelry, sunglasses, belts, bags, my shoes. I have them here. And then in this in this area, I have where I do my makeup. Guys, I love this chair so much. This is my makeup where I sit down to do my makeup. And then I do i watch netflix in my alexa here it's very convenient i'm able to like watch anything i want to watch youtube netflix you name it so these lights um i got them from amazon um they come in a pack of six and i bought about five packs i'm going to link them for you down below for these lights i really wanted something that can be easy for me i wanted something that I can operate with a remote control and i can charge once in a while I'm going to show you how it works it is so beautiful i love it and i don't have to worry about turning each and every one of them like on and off all the time i can just turn them off with one remote and then these handles i got them from amazon i'm going to link them for you if you if you want to check them out um for me ikea furniture is extremely basic looking and i wanted like more character to my um closets so I wanted like gold handles and gold back stand to kind of make this whole thing have like a um, something going on, you know. I didn't want it to be too plain. So yeah, that's why I decided to do this and it came out so perfect. I couldn't be happy. Um, this this was my very first purse. This was my very first designer purse. And I got this when I was like in, 
I think I would say like first year of university or when I was like leaving secondary school. I've always been a fashion girlie and like I used to read like magazines and all these Vogue magazines and like random magazines. I was very very like into those those runway fashion. I would like to, I like to see what the models had on and I've always loved Louis Vuitton. I just felt like it was just an iconic brand and I really wanted to like have um, a piece of it. it give you like a history of how I got this post. Um, when I was younger, a family friend we knew, um, she was traveling abroad and she was selling all her stuff, her, all her things basically. And when I saw this Louis Vuitton, I really wanted it. Obviously, I was a child. I didn't have that much money. Guys, I spent all my, I brought out all my savings. I asked my dad to give me money for some, I don't even know what I asked him to give me money for, but I was able to use all my savings and the money my dad gave me at the time. And I was able to get this purse from her. Um, this purse, I don't know how, I don't remember how much this particular purse is, but she sold it to me like way, way, way lesser than the amount and that's why i decided to buy it you know to me it was like a dream come true then um it was an opportunity for me to like you know grab one of those iconic pieces and it, to me it was like a once in a lifetime opportunity at that time was, this is like my most sentimental um bag i keep it so dearly to me because you know like it gives me like a lot of i have a lot of history with this and this was just the stepping stone for like every other bag I have here. My other first purchase was this Jacquemus bag. I I got it in, I think I got this in December or January. No, I got this in December for Christmas. This was a Christmas gift to myself. I got it, I love it so much. Um, It was actually on sale when I got it. I've been eyeing this bag for a while, but I'm like, I can't always get it. But when I saw that Sense was having the sale, I grabbed it immediately. So yeah, this was my most recent purchase. I love it. I've worn it a couple of times. And then this bag, this bag was my was my birthday gift for my sister um this year in February when I turned 26. She got this bag for me and I love it so much. It's a really really cute Alexander Wang bag. And then this was this was also a Christmas gift from my man. He got this for me for uh, for Christmas. I love it. I've actually been wanting this bag for a while, but I kind of didn't like it anymore. Then I liked it again. But anyways, I bet I've not really used it like very much. I think I've used it like twice. But yeah, I definitely love this bag. Oh, Burberry and Burberry. Maybe I should carry it out today. <laughs> this was my very last wardrobe frame, and I got it because I needed space for my sneakers. As you can see here, I already arranged them. My sneakers were like suffering, they were jealous. So I had to put another wardrobe frame here. So I have all my sneakers here and my perfumes. So I kind of color coordinated this closet, but I mean, it's not extremely color coordinated, but you can see the vibe. So for this place, I wanted to put just nudes and black here, and I was able to accomplish that. But it's just this one pop of color here that I just, I wanted like a pop of color and just this. In this corner so it wasn't too like nudie so i put my orange um my orange strap sandals <laughs> there and down here i have if you notice down here uh where i have the biggest um size this is where i keep all my, my boots basically like down here so i've actually never worn this boot before this is the it looks like the Balenciaga ones, but this is actually not Balenciaga. I've never worn them before. And I'm very happy I never bought a Balenciaga because we're not supporting Balenciaga in this house anymore. I actually really like this, but I've not had the chance to wear it yet. So I bought these bag hangers from um Amazon. I wanted that like boutique feel, like I said. I just kept like some accessories on there to just complement the whole feel so to look more like a store <laughs> like luxury and then if you notice down here there are shoes here i have this ysl shoes that i literally love and hate i love and hate this shoe because they are so beautiful they look so good on any leg they complement your leg very well but they are so freaking uncomfortable you can as well just walk on pins because that's how it feels when you walk on these for a long time it's very painful to walk on. It's not something you can wear for a long time. This is definitely my best 
shoe and my wash shoe at the same time it's just like one of those shoes that i would have in my closet but I, I can't wear this for too long i can whenever i wear this i have to take like a second shoe or slippers because of how uncomfortable it is so my birthday gift my 26th birthday this year february i wore this for my birthday i got it because of how beautiful it is i mean guys you can see how beautiful these shoes are but guys these shoes first of all i have so many things to complain about this shoe first of all it's not wide leg friendly it doesn't complement your feet like i think it only complements girls that have like really narrow feet they don't complement my legs at all and these shoes are just to me they're just too expensive when i actually got it it looks worth it from the website i mean looking at it it looks worth it but when you actually work on it when you start knowing like the fitting and everything you'll be asking yourself why you paid that amount for this shoe i think it's overpriced it looks nice to the eyes yes but i mean like i'm not just paying for it to look nice i'm paying for it to for me to be able to wear it and you know enjoy wearing it and another thing i would say is that returning it was not it was almost impossible for me because they don't offer refunds and they only offer exchanges and i'm like how do i exchange with any other shoe when i know that your sizing is not that great this is a 41 it honestly feels like a 40 on my leg I can wear 40 but some people can't wear 40 and it's just small it doesn't i don't i really don't think it's extremely true to size it's just there um and then like it's not comfortable to walk on it is shaky and i'm very very sure that when you wear this for a couple more events it's just going to fall apart and why am i paying that amount of money if i if i'm not confident in what in what i i bought you know so yeah this was definitely not a no for me i couldn't return it I had to take something else on the website and there's nothing else I, I, I liked on the website they didn't have a lot more shoes and they don't have shoes for white feet they don't have shoes that are comfy so why should I take something else when I don't like your brand so this was definitely a no-no for me I wish I researched more on these although I did and people liked it but I don't like it it's very pretty yes I'm going to continue wearing it because it's my money I spend money on it but I, but I don't think I would I would actually buy from this brand again this is just rich um pump this is my least worn sneakers i think i've worn these sneakers only like <laughs> i'll say once i've ever worn and i've had it for like four years or five years this was actually a gift from an old friend it's not my style to be honest it's not my style but it's a gift and i hold gift very dear to me no matter how much i hate it or no matter how much it's not my style i'll always you know hold it dear to my heart and i always keep it so yeah this is my least worn sneakers i actually don't even know why i don't really like it i think it's because it's just too glossy it's just too pink but i love it though it's what it gives so i'm not complaining but that's weird though because my favorite sneakers is this one and it's extremely colorful as you can see it has like so many colorways i think it's really cool i love this sneaker i've worn it so many times but this one I don't know why I don't like it because it's this one is just colorful too, so it can't be the color, but I think it's because of the gloss, it just makes it more out there. So I built these um drawers, there are five drawers here, and it was important for me to put this here as well because I needed more storage space and I don't like things hanging around like on the floor or randomly. So this space was very important for me. So let me show you what I put inside my drawer they're not so exciting let me show you so in this drawer i have all my shade my cases my all my glass cases and my documents in the file so this drawer is where i have all my jewelry. <laughs> i love this drawer so much i just became i just became a jewelry girl like maybe two years ago i've never really like been into jewelry like that i'm very happy i am now and then moving on to this fourth drawer this is where i have all my these are all the wigs that have, have been cleaned but are not styled yet or treated yet so i keep them in these drawers and you know when i feel like wearing a new wig i just pull it out and then just treat it or style it and then this last drawer this is where i have all my already styled wig I have only three here, so I probably should style more. But yeah, I only have three style wigs here. Um, I just in this drawer, I just grab and go and just put on my head because I know that I is already like 
washed and styled easy to put on all right so moving on to this corner i love this corner so much guys i really wanted a space where i can lounge and get dressed i i wanted like this part of the world to just be a lounging area where i can just relax i edit my videos here sometimes i get dressed here all the time you know i just stay here and just you know maybe talk on the phones and then i have these two shelves i got from amazon as well and i wanted the decoration to be very minimal i didn't want anything over the top because this is already over the top <laughs> it's just too busy already so yeah this is my lounge area and it's very close to my makeup place too so it's just so convenient for me you know and i love it all right moving on to the other side of this closet i have this door and this door leads to my the walking closet that comes with the room and just has my clothes in it so in here is where i have all my clothes on the hanger i have like my important clothes like clothes I, I go out with up here is where i keep all my pants my going out pants my stay home pants my sweatpants i keep them all up here so in this place is where i keep all my lounge wears nothing too exciting in this area i keep all my lounge wears all my stay home clothes and everything i just you know need to wear for day-to-day -day activities and then up here i keep all my um night wears so i can just grab pick and go i don't want to fold that or you know deal with like my night wear so that's where i have where what i have in this basket and up here is where i have all my gym clothes i have it, my all my gym clothes in this bag and up here like my daily like everyday gym bag i keep my water pre-workouts gum and resistance band like things i need for like every day to a gym i keep them in that bag and then right here is where i keep um these clothes are because i want to sell and give away i just randomly kept them there um to sort out and then here i have all my bathing suits and clothes that you know i don't really wear all the time like bathing suits kimonos i keep them there and in that small basket as well is where I keep all my, I, this is where I keep like clothes that I plan on wearing maybe in like the same week or the next week. So I can just, instead of looking for an outfit, can I just go to that bag and just grab something I've put together and just wear. And then this box is where I have, um, there's a giveaway going on right now in my, my last vlog. So this is the box for the giveaway. So yeah, I don't really have a lot of clothing for some reason i have like more of accessories maybe that's why i never find what to wear <laughs> well yeah i guess i love i love accessories more than i love clothes and clothes are kind of like boring and you can't get tired of them so accessories are statement pieces so all right guys we have come to the end of this video hope you enjoyed watching um and i'll see you in my next video please don't forget to like and subscribe hey guys this was actually the second time i filmed this video and i don't want to talk about it because the first time was a mess but i'm just so happy like i was able to do this and i hope you enjoyed like i did and i'll see you in my next video my loves bye